2025 is one of the craziest years in the history. Some people are making more money than they should, while some people are just struggling to make the ends meet. I mean, look at the so-called cream of the country. 38% of IITNs didn't even get placed last year, and probably it's going to get worse over years. One of the most demanding departments, computer science, is probably going to lose its shine. English is going to be the new coding language. Amazon's Web Services CEO says it's possible that most of the developers are not going to code in the future. Some people are scared that AI will take over their jobs, while some people have already given up. We are at the beginning of a new world demanding new skills, new ways of work and new focus points. And if you don't change anything about it, I'm sorry because it's going to get worse. See, I don't want to scare you, but the intro of this video actually depicts a possible scenario that we'll actually step into. And in this video, I'll talk about the research that I've done, about the best skills and the domains that you need to focus on. I'll also be talking about what are the skills that I am planning to learn for 2025. So this video is going to be very important. So listen to me carefully. Talking about the structure of this video, there are going to be five parts that I'll be talking about in no particular order. See, I want you to listen to me carefully because this is important stuff. You need to listen, understand, and also think about this after you finish watching this video. I'm not sure how long this video will be, but it's going to be worth it. So let's start with the first point. The future will be driven by attention and people are brands with access to it will end up winning in the future. You see, most of the skills that we have right now, like including building websites or whatever it is, They'll get so easy that instead of having a team of 20 members, you'll just end up having one or two max. The same goes with the marketing campaigns that the companies run. If there are 100 people in the marketing department of a company right now, it will probably be reduced to 10 or even 5. So the people dependency will come down. Tasks will take lesser time to get done. And we'll have a lot of people who will get jobless in the traditional fields. Because jobs are going to change. We'll talk about this later. The same goes with startups and companies. The barrier to entry for businesses will come down by huge margin, especially the ones who are solely dependent on online infrastructure. And this is actually a good thing because more and more people will actually start their own startups instead of working somewhere. So in conclusion, how do you stand out? And how does a normal student like you prepare for the changing future? I'm sorry if this is getting a little more complex than the rest of the videos that I make, but sometimes you just have to come out of the typical college mindset or the JE mindset that your teachers roll on you. So coming back, it all boils down to the access to trust, attention, and distribution that a company or a person has. So my suggestion, say it's not a rule, you can completely ignore this, but my suggestion would be to explore how can you start building distribution. Now it can be through anything. It can be a YouTube channel where you're sharing your learning. It can be an Instagram page. It can be a Twitter account. It can even be your LinkedIn profile. The point is how many people know you and can trust you for a particular thing that they can actually spend their money on you. This is going to be the future, both for an individual and also for a company. I mean, just look at how many companies suddenly got so active on social media. They now have full-fledged content teams or have multiple agencies to create content for them. Brands are literally paying lakhs and lakhs of rupees to these agencies just to create like Instagram reels for them. That's just insane, man. So this is my suggestion to most of you. Start learning how to write content, how to research content, how to state your opinions online. And a more efficient way to build this online distribution is to probably end up making these videos. Because it doesn't matter if you're a student, teacher, engineer, or even an entrepreneur. Making videos and building distribution is going to be the single best decision that you'll take in your life. Now you might be like, oh, Tarun, making videos is not for everyone. No, I don't agree to it. Like any other skill, content writing, content research, speaking to the camera, editing these videos, choosing the right title and thumbnail for the video, making those thumbnails, and even doing the SEO for a video. All these are skills and skills can be learned. It will take you somewhere between eight months to one year to learn all these skills together. But if you're going to concentrate on one specific skill, it will just take you three or four months to learn to a pro level. See, the demand for these skills is so high, but the supply isn't much. And this is going to be the best time to learn all these skills. Because in the worst possible case, you can at least make some side income while you're still a student. But if it actually works out well, then you'll end up making lakhs and lakhs of rupees for the small videos that you'll create for brands. So in conclusion, start putting your feet into the world of creator economy. You'll thank yourself later. And now let's talk about the elephant in the room, AI. A lot of people who talk about, oh, you should learn AI and all this stuff. They don't even know what they're talking about. They are just copy pasting anything and everything. But here's everything that you need to know in simple words. Like this entire AI thing, it can be divided into three major parts based upon the impact that it has on people. The first one is a very niche market where there are AI ML experts trying to build new algorithms. But the number of people here, or let's say the jobs which are created here are like just limited to people who are in tech. And also companies require people who have years and years of experience in tech 
plus you also need to be good at maths so this is only limited to people who are really passionate to make an impact in like the world using tech now the second one is a bit bigger market like where people take existing ai models or technologies and try to fine tune it for individual cases or they try to integrate it with companies existing tech now this part doesn't actually require you to have 10 years of experience in ai or ml and probably creates much better and also bigger job market i mean not just job market but also a better opportunity for startups or building companies you see i can also make a dedicated video on ai and all this stuff because this year i am planning to build or integrate some more ai tools in my own you know existing workflow so just let me know in the comments below if you actually would be interested in it or not now before we talk about the third part of this entire ai thing if you are someone who's really passionate about software development data science and machine learning then i think you should definitely check out this platform called as scalar because unlike most of the other platforms the people who actually teach here are the ones who previously worked or are currently working at top tech companies so everything from learning a concept practicing it building real world projects to even preparing for interviews they help you with everything even their student community is so strong that they help each other to maintain coding sticks of 365 days that's just insane and scalar says that over 93% of the students have been placed at top tech companies like microsoft and amazon and over 83% of the students were able to successfully transition their careers so even if you're a student who's serious about a career in tech or a working professional who's just planning to transition their career i believe scalar would be a great choice for you they also have the support of emi options if you're planning to join any of their courses plus if you'd like to know more you can book a completely free live class by using the link in the description Now this gets us to the third part of this entire AI thing and this is what most of the influencers talk about when they say you need to learn AI they don't mean either building AI models or building on the top of the existing models what they actually mean to say is learn different AI tools and try to integrate them in your existing workflow now to do this in the best possible way you also need to learn something called as prompting the way that you actually give commands context and instructions to an AI model. I've linked some of the best videos about prompting or prompt engineering in the description below. You can check them out later. And if you need a list of AI tools that I use at my work, office or even to make these videos, here is the list. Now let's talk about the third one, but one of the most important ones among this list. Let's go. The future will be shaped by startups, agencies and small businesses. Now some of these will be one person companies but most of these will be a small group of people coming together to build something on their own. But even in the current scenario, if you look at the surroundings around you, most of the people who make a lot of money are usually the people who understand business and can execute things much faster. than the competition basically where's the demand how do i increase the demand how do i increase the supply how do i sell what will be the pricing strategy how do i negotiate how to build a team and scale the team see all these things are even important right now but with the impact of ai with the ease of creating products and the infrastructure to sell them the next 10 years are going to be huge for entrepreneurship and people who understand business are going to win like crazy see just as an example even right now if you're running like a creative agency in india and if you have indian based clients you get paid much lesser when compared to if you have clients in us the same goes with having companies as clients versus having individuals as clients it's simple logic but people just don't take the first step to do it and it's most probably because they are just scared to do it i've compiled some of the best videos about business in the document below so you can just click on it and watch them later see this is very important you can be a student creator engineer or even a doctor having some kind of business knowledge is very very important and is going to be more important in the future the videos that i've compiled in the description below will take you almost 20 hours to finish them but will add a lot of value to your life so thank me thank me later thank me in the comments thank me everywhere be thankful let's go to the next one so now that we are done with the three domains let's talk about two core skills which are going to be very important because after this i'll be talking about the skills that i am planning to learn But again coming back the first core skill the ability to learn things faster because the world will move so fast in the coming future that only the people who can learn adapt and apply things at extremely faster rates will end up making a lot of money in the future but just remember this you get good at learning things by actually learning more and more things not by just reading how to learn things faster and that's exactly what we do in the mentorship program in the quantum project as well because we make people learn things so that they can learn other things much faster so now moving on did you ever think about like how much time do you spend on your phone every day or did you just think about how much time can you actually sit and work without getting distracted at all because there's a study conducted last year which said 
the attention span of human beings it came down by 50% in the last 8 years and it actually came down by 70% in fact more than 70% in the last 15 to 20 years and going forward this will get to absolute worse so i believe the ability to sit and work for extended periods of time is going to be one of the core skills which is going to be very very important for humans so these are the list of five things that i want you to focus on this year but now let's talk about the things that i am planning to learn this year the first one is the skill of executing faster see most of the things that i do in my life are like just perfect but just i i take a lot of time to do them but this year i want to learn i want to master the skill of executing everything faster thing the second one is my english i need to get much better at it than whatever i'm right now i think i'm currently at like 5 on 10 or 6 on 10 but there's a lot of scope for improvement and probably i'll take one or two years to master it but yeah i'll also plan to make a video about it later the third thing is the use of ai see until now i did not use a lot of ai tools in my workflow because until now they are not as good but i think finally we are at a place where these ai tools have become so 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 good and i think i should definitely start using a lot more ai tools in my workflow and the last but not the least i need to focus on my food and uh, fitness uh, i've just completely ignored it last year but i think this year i have to take care of it so these are the four things that i'm planning to get good at this year so that is it i think i spoke about most of the things that i wanted to and also we have started a behind the scenes ka channel to talk more about how do i make these videos how do i shoot how do i record how does the team edit that how do i edit them so all of those things you can find even this link in the description so with that being said i wish you all the best just let me know in the comments below about what are the skills that you are planning to learn this year i'll see you again i hope this video was useful kind of different from what we usually do but yeah anyways chalo bye bye see you let's go